I'm recording. All right. Hey, everybody. It's Dave. Uh, welcome to our regular Tuesday team call. I've got some new resources I want to share with you guys today. I'm recording the call because we're going to put this out on the uh, FCN coach training website and, and through the email list as well. So if you're watching me here on Facebook, awesome. You can comment below if you have questions. Uh, if you're watching this on the FCN coach training website, cool. Thank you as well. So um, a couple of quick announcements first. One is about the call next week. Uh, next week, we are going to be doing the call at a different time. I think that time is going to be 3.30 uh, p.m. Pacific time. So that's what, 6.30 Eastern. And that's because I have a guest coming on the call. We've got kind of an exciting Thursday planned here because we have a coach who is advancing to Emerald. And one of the cool things about that coach advancing to Emerald is that it causes her sponsoring coach, Kelly Posner, to advance to Diamond. So we're going to talk with Kelly a little bit. And I say that because it plays into what I really want to talk about today. Um, you know, over the, so, so first of all, get ready for that. It's going to be exciting. One of the things about Kelly that I think is unique with her journey is she really had to start over and, and really start from scratch. And it's pretty impressive to see what she's been able to do and how she's been able to do it. And just creating a, a, you know, kind of a methodical plan for here's how I'm going to build my way back to diamond. And I'm just going to keep sponsoring people until those couple of people who are going to catch fire with this thing and figure it out, come along. And that's really the attitude you have to have. You never know who you're talking to. You honestly just never know who you're talking to. And sometimes people will, um, I don't want to say lie to you because they're not lying to you. They, they will say things that are designed to protect themselves. Like, yes, I'm interested in becoming a coach, but only for the discounts. Often they're really saying that because they're a little afraid because this thing is a little scary and they don't want to go and just dive in the deep end of the pool on day one, what they'd rather do is kind of tiptoe their way into the thing and see what happens. And if they've made big commitments to you about that and they dive into the pool and they figure out they need to learn how to swim before they hit the deep end, that's a problem for them. And that's scary for them. So often what they'll tell you is I'm just becoming a coach because I want the discount. If you sit back and kind of watch them a little bit and see their participation level, you'll often see a lot of things happen. Their participation level increases right away, especially if they're in your groups, which hopefully they are. And discount coaches are always in my groups. I just treat them like customers who have a discount That's because that's what they are. Um, their participation will tend to increase. They'll, they'll be, they have a greater longevity with things like Shakeology. Um, the, the retention rates are just higher for coaches than non-coaches. I'm gonna flip this light on, sorry. I forgot to turn this other light on. Light in my office is kind of weird and I have like can lights that look really weird on Zoom. Um, anyway, so one of the things that Kelly really committed to doing was just sponsoring people. You know, just I'm just, I'm just gonna sponsor people. And then they get to decide about what they're gonna do or what they're not gonna do. And that's up to them, that's not for me to decide. It's just for them to decide any more than it is for them to decide whether to become a coach or not in the first place, or even get started with any of our programs, you know, with Shakeology or BOD or some combination thereof. That's not your decision. That's their decision. So you just let people make their decisions. After a while, if you are consistent with that, eventually you're going to find a few people who decide that they really want to do this thing. And that's really kind of not to take Kelly's story away. And I'm, I, I'm excited to have her share it with you next week, but um, we're going to be moving the team call. Here's one of the reasons I tell you that. It really dovetails into what I want to talk about today. Um, another thing, just really quickly before I forget, if you haven't seen this already, Transform 20 is going to be coming out in December. We're not going to talk about Transform 20 today. I don't think it's a good idea to talk about it right now. Maybe if you were in that test group, you know, I can maybe understand that. I, you run the risk of, of causing people to get distracted in November and say, oh, I'll just wait until December. And then you're at the end of November and you don't have any success club points and you're wondering what the hell went wrong you just have people waiting and that's not good. Okay. And if they're going to get transform 20, they're going to have to get started with an annual all access or a, uh, annual BOD membership or a BOD membership anyway. So you may as well just get them started and get them going on something. Okay. I'm kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my group right now to bridge between the, we have three more weeks of lift four and then we're going to find something to bridge up to, to January, but I'll figure that out later. Anyway, on that point though, there are, I saw today, Carl posted on Instagram, there's 128,000 uh, steps that they have that they are holding onto. 
And the way they're doing that is if you get a success club point in November, you're guaranteed to get a step. Okay. So they, they know the numbers there that not that many people make success club in a lot, you know, there's a lot more people who get like a single point, but if you want to get, make sure you get a step, make sure you get a success club point in November. Okay. And then you'll be sort of added to that list of people who are guaranteed to get steps. Um, I don't know if they're going to sell out or not, the, the numbers, it, it sounds like they will. Honestly, I, I think they've underestimated this thing because they had like 180,000 people who did 80 day obsession and they had 200,000 that did lift four. Uh, and this is the first time Sean's launched a program since size. It's not crazy that we haven't had like a site from like Sean week. So, um, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I just, that's out there now on to what I really want to talk about today. This, this business ebbs and flows. Okay. It ebbs and flows. And my job, one of my jobs is to stay close to what's going on and talk to the leaders and talk with corporate and make sure that I know kind of the, what, what's happening in other people's businesses. Because I just know like if it, it's very rarely unique to our business when something's going on. That might be a drop in volume. It might be, in this case, a lack of recruiting <laughs> or a significant drop off in recruiting. But there's always kind of something. And, and when we kind of go back and forth and we focus on one thing and focus on another. A couple of years ago, I would have told you the problem is that people are not retailing enough, that you need to, you need to focus your energies on making sure you're building a big customer base. And that should be the focus. A couple of years before that, I would have told you and did tell you that we need to focus on recruiting. Okay. We need to focus on building and growing the team. That's what I'm telling you again now, because this thing has kind of swung back in the other direction and recruitment numbers are just down. And so I'm start, I start to look at, okay, well, what do, you know, what are the healthy organizations look like? What are their recruitment not exactly numbers, because numbers, you know, are, it depends on how many people you've got and all that stuff, but it's more of a pace, if you will. What do the organiz organizations look like that are receding? You know, because again, I've been around this thing since the start. So I've got, I've got people who are friends of mine and their businesses are not growing. Their businesses are declining. Well, let's talk about that. And what are those numbers, right? And then there's those people whose businesses are growing like crazy. And then some people who are just sort of in between, and they just kind of keep going. Again, I've got people who've been in this business as long as I have who are just steady Eddie, much like we are, and they just kind of keep doing their thing. The, the, the unifying sort of theme is that there's a lack of recruiting going on. And I think there's a couple of reasons for that. I think one was when the 21 Day Fix came out in 2014, there was this business model that was created where it was like, you take somebody and over the course of 21 days, you groom them to be a coach on day 21, you're prospecting them to be a coach and then they become a coach that didn't seem to be, that worked really well, but it created a lot of fragile organizations because you just had somebody who had three weeks of exposure to our company who was then becoming a sales rep. That, that's, that's not really enough time, right? To help groom somebody and help somebody grow and fall in, the way I talk about it, it, it people have to fall in love with this thing. That, that's how I see it. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show people how much I love this thing so that they'll take a look at it and go, okay, well maybe let's go on a couple dates and see if we see if we like each other or not, right? That's what getting people signed up as a discount coach does. As a result of what happened with the 21 day fix, we sort of knocked the discount coach program and corporate made some changes that made it not so advantageous, honestly, to be a discount coach. It was like, you're kind of just better off being a customer, right? That's shifted and changed and in response to what I'm talking about now, which is that what we need to do is really get focused on recruiting. There's a lot of different ways you can do that, okay? The, and I'm not gonna talk about all of them today. The sneak peek groups, I think are fantastic. Um, certainly one-on-one -on -one just approaching people about becoming a coach is another really tried and true method. If you have a social media presence that's very effective, you know, putting out the feelers for coaching there can be effective. I know a lot of people who have had a lot of success with that. That's never worked really, really well for me, which is why you don't see me do it a lot. Um, I'm more of, let me get to know you. Let me build a relationship with you. Then we'll have a conversation about you becoming a coach. Here's what I want to show you today. I want to show you just a couple of little resources that I created to help you take people from, I'm interested in a program to I'm going to become a coach. Okay, pretty simple process, pretty simple graphics, not rocket science, 
What it takes is for you to actually do it though, right? And for you to actually have the conversations with people to say, hey, look, we've got a couple of different options for how to sign up here. And one of them, and I'm gonna talk about them, not coach and customer, I'm gonna talk about them and, and the graphic talks about them as far as regular member and preferred member. So just for a little bit of background and full disclosure purposes, this is really comes from Cindy Tremblay, uh, what Cindy presented to us at our leadership event that we did here in, in late September. This was one of the things Cindy gave us, and this is what Cindy has taught our team to do. Now, should it be any surprise to you that Cindy's team is growing consistently and that she continues to add people to the team who are also productive members because they're just doing the same thing she's doing. They're bringing people on, the people come in, a lot of them come in as discount customers. Sorry, my light just got all weird there. A lot of them come in as discount customers. And then over time, they figure out whether they're, they just kind of like Beachbody or whether they want to fall in love with it. And they want to become a coach and they want to become a productive member of the team. They want to start getting some personal one-on-one -on -one mentoring, all that type of stuff that happens when you raise your hand and go, okay, I'm ready to do this thing on another level, right? So this is kind of the idea that Cindy had. She created some graphics very similar to what I've got. I'm going to show you what I've got. There's two different ones. They're going to be in the file section along with the recording of this. And again, we'll pump these out on the FCN uh, coach training website as well. So let's take a look at the graphics and let's see if um, Zoom, uh, Zoom is going to play nice because it hasn't been. Let's start share. Hey. Looks like it's gonna work, cool. Okay, um, whoops, that's the wrong one. So here's the first graphic. And, and let me quickly say, and, and just show you this, because what you'll see here is they're very vanilla. That's on purpose, <laughs> okay? Make them pretty if you want them pretty. Make them manly if you want them manly. Put your logo on them. Do whatever you want with them. I'm just putting them out here in like a very bare bones format that you know i we're gonna take and make pretty and do all that different stuff and i'll probably have a couple of different versions of this because again if i'm talking to you know if i'm talking to a woman or monica's talking to a woman you know the, the font needs to maybe be a little bit more maybe it needs to be a little more flowery or just a little bit different not for every woman obviously if i'm talking to a guy that's a graphic that's not going to work with it, right so i'm just going to create multiple versions of the same basic framework i would encourage you to do the same here are a couple things before i get into this that you can do with this document the first one is you need to have a Google Drive, okay? If you have a Gmail account, you have a Google Drive account. But you can go to file and you can make a copy. When you, and then you can, it'll say, you'll see it says, copy of preferred membership number one. You can name this whatever you wanna call it. It saves it to your drive, all right? Once it's on your drive, you can do whatever you want with it and it won't change this document. This document will just stay as is, which is the way I have to set this up. If I set it up so that you can edit it, when you put you know, flowers all over it or whatever, or you know, dumbbells or whatever, everybody's document gets changed. So again, file, make a copy. You can also download it as a PDF. Um, and that's, you can just do that right here. If you just wanna use this basic thing, you're like, I don't care. I don't need to make all these changes to it. I'll just use the basic thing. You can just download it as a PDF. Uh, and you can also share it. And there's a share button right underneath my head here. Uh, right here is a share button and you just make sure it's set to can view, which is all it should be set for, and you just copy the link and then you can share it that way. But what I really recommend you do is take this and personalize it, all right? So let's talk about what this is. This is the preferred membership number one, challenge pack versus coach challenge pack. So this is somebody who you have already who's interested in getting a challenge pack. You've got them to that point where they're understanding, okay, I'm ready to go and it, this is not specific to any particular challenge pack. You'll see the next one I've got is specific to the um, BOD challenge pack. This is just a general sort of, hey, by the way, as an additional option, I wanna make sure you're aware of the different, of the preferred membership that we have. Okay, so again, this is a simple little recruiting thing. It's just an addition to what you're already doing. If somebody is interested in a challenge pack, let me throw some added value your way and show you what that looks like. So, you know, we have this sort of with your purchase of challenge pack, two options for membership, regular preferred. Preferred membership has many advantages, plus noting that that $40 sign up fee is waived. So what this does is it just shows them, hey, if you decide to become a coach, or in this case, a preferred member, which makes more sense to people, I think, the, I think another reason a lot of people don't sign up initially is the word coach 
scares them. They think, oh, if I'm a coach, I need to have like a degree and a medal and a certificate and all that stuff in order to be a coach. And obviously you don't need to have any of that stuff. Sorry, I get a little water. So what this just lays out is, look, if you're a regular member, you're gonna get access to me and you're gonna get access to our support group. And, and, and that might be enough for you. That could be great for you. However, if you decide to become a preferred member, which is a coach, you're also gonna get a 25% discount on all your Beachbody products. Again, this is a matter of doing some math. You'll see down here at the bottom, I highlighted the math, $97 versus $129, excuse me. Um, but you're gonna need to do some math for them. So let's say they're taking Shakeology and Energize or whatever their order is, right? They're interested, oh yeah, I want the challenge pack, the Shakeology challenge pack plus Energize. Okay, do the math for them, add it up. How do you do that? It's really simple, just go into your back office and put together an order as a coach and be like, look, if you buy it at regular price, here's the price. If you buy it at my price, the preferred member price, here's the price. Do some math for them, okay? Because the math really pencils out here. So um, access, you, this is something you don't get unless you're a coach. The exclusive super trainer groups when we launch new programs. You can explain to them what that looks like. Joel leads a group, Sean leads a group, Autumn leads a group, right? Those groups are being coached by them. You can only be in those groups if you're a preferred member. Um, you can also, this is another thing I think is valuable to talk to them about. It's not about, hey, I want you to become a working coach on day one. More of what it's about is, hey, by the way, there's also a little bit of bonus for you. Let's say that your sister decides to get involved. She can purchase through your preferred member account, and I will show you how to do that when, if that time comes, and get a 25 to 40% uh, 20, you can get a 25 to 40% commission. The 40% is the challenge packs, obviously. Okay. 25% on most things, 40, up to a 40% commission, depending on the challenge pack. I think the average challenge pack is like 36%. I think that's right. Let me correct me if I'm wrong about that. Um, and then again, you know, you just clarifying the same thing we're saying above is that you enjoy all the benefits that a coach does. You just have no obligation to do anything. There's no minimums. Uh, I think that's an important thing. That's one of the questions I get a lot it, it, as I'm talking to people about this because they've been involved with some other, you know, candles or whatever. And it's like, yeah, you know, become a preferred member. All you need to do is buy 200 bucks of shit a, a month. You know, obviously we don't have anything like that. There are no, prefer there's no minimums that you need to buy. There's, and I, maybe I should even clarify that language a little bit more. Kelly Posner helped me put this together, by the way. Um, then initial cost, right? We're going down here. Well, it's zero. <laughs> right? There's zero sign up fees. And I think I want to change this just a little bit because the initial cost is, I mean, I'll say initial cost beyond. I don't even change that to extra cost. How about that? Extra. See, we're collaborating here. <laughs> um, extra cost beyond the challenge pack price. Because what I want them to see is that there is no extra cost if you're a regular member, but if you're a preferred member, there's also no extra cost. Let's bold that one. It's all, there's also no extra cost. I want that bigger too, I think. Again, like, you know, I want you guys to play with these. Why? Because the $40 sign up fee is waived for preferred members, right? When you become a coach with a challenge pack, that $40 fee gets waived. It's another $40 on the table. Again, you're doing the math for people. It, again, I, I sort of led with, you know, everybody hates math. And then I thought, oh, Laura Schrader's going to see this. Uh, most people hate math is where I went with it. Learn to just do a little bit of basic math. Again, just add it up. And when you're adding it up for them, throw this $40 in there and be like, look, this is another $40 of bonus material for you because you're going to be a preferred member. You're just going to waive it because you're getting a challenge pack, right? And if you don't get the challenge pack, then, you know, so this is really already somebody who's at challenge pack, right? Make sure, you're, make sure you're there. Then the monthly fees. Again, starting on month two, no monthly fees for regular members, $15.95 plus tax for your preferred members, the people who sign up to become a coach. So again, you're doing a little bit of math here because as we go down here, you save $33, but you're paying $16 to get that benefit. So you have to show them the price difference. And again, if you just kind of look at some math about what they're getting, 
And it's not that hard to go, look, if you're, if you're a coach and you're just getting it, let's just round it up. You're getting a $15, $16 discount every month on your Shakeology. Here's how long that's going to take to add up to be a significant amount of money that you're, you're just coming out way ahead and you get all these other benefits. This one is the one that the exclusive touch coach group, this is where I'm talking about earlier where the company starts to see, Ooh, we got a thing here. What's the thing? Well, the thing is that people recruiting has slowed down dramatically. What can we do to acknowledge that? Right. And get people into uh, into groups as coaches and they create the exclusive all access, the exclusive super trainer test groups, right? That's a really good example of what I'm talking about where we sort of see there's something going on and what healthy organizations look like and what unhealthy organizations look like and what just kind of plain old stable organizations look like. And believe me, they talk to us about this stuff. Um, this is one of those things they did to acknowledge this thing of what I'm talking about is that we were kind of in a situation where we need more people on a team. And, and for those of you guys out there, I'm going to stop this share really quickly and just kind of talk to you. And then we'll look at the other graphic. For the for you guys out there, I see so many people every week as I go through, I do volume, I look at volume, I see who's doing what, I see how hard you guys are working. And some of you are, are you're working way harder than you need to. You just are. Uh, and and I'm, the, the reason I, why that is happening, I'm not exactly sure. Um, maybe there'll be some good feedback in the comments. But the, the easy thing to do in this business is the hard thing to do in this business. The hard thing to do in this business is talk to people about becoming a coach and help them learn how to do it and grow a business. In the long run, that's the easy thing to do because <laughs> now it's not just you. <laughs> it's you and some other people. Every person you bring in, no. A few of them, yeah, guess what? It just doesn't take that many. There's a real misnomer in this business that you need to have 150 diamond coaches in order to be successful. Not true, not true at all. You just need a few. You need to find five great people and they need to go find five great people. And if that happens, then you have 30 great people. Doesn't take, more, I guarantee, it doesn't even take that many. It really doesn't. It really does not in order to be really successful here. But in order for that to happen, you've got to be sponsoring people. And I see the volume report every week. And as much as I love the fact that you guys are working that hard and you're making this retail income, which I know for most of you is like a side income that you're using for something that makes your life better. Um, at least I hope you are. I um, hope you're not just spending it on, you know, drugs or something. <laughs> I don't think you're doing that. But I know that's what you guys are using the income for. And I look at it and I go, you know, if, through a little, a couple of little tweaks, the ability to bring some people onto the team, even if they're just discount coaches and give them an opportunity to look at what we have on a deeper level and start to enjoy their discount and start to fall in love and then start talking about it. Those are the little things that end up making a big difference. And those are the ones where when you get comfortable talking to people about becoming a coach, that's when your business can really flourish and can really grow because you're comfortable with it because you do it. That's the only way to get comfortable with doing it. You know, anything that you do that's a little bit freaky, if you do it enough, it's not scary anymore. You know, think about when you're a kid and you're like learning to ride a bike. It's ter I remember like it was scared me, right? But then I learned how to ride a bike and now I can't get off of one, <laughs> you know? And this is not that different. This gives you a way to have those conversations. That's easy, okay? And part of what happens here men in particular, I don't want to get too far off topic with this, but men struggle with self-confidence. Okay. And you may not know, that, you may not know that about guys, but they really struggle with self-confidence. And I'm sure women do too. I'm not trying to be specific. I just understand the male brain because I happen to have one. And they, they, they hide it in a lot of different ways, which is why men are jerks or whatever. But one of the things that, that happens and, and when men talk to me about how do I become more confident, there's just one way to do it you got to go do, you have, you have to go challenge yourself. You have to get out of your comfort zone. You've got to go do some scary things and you need to have some failures and you need to get some wins and the wins are way more important. And as you mass up enough wins, you start to believe in yourself. That's what this process a lot is about, is about getting comfortable, having the conversation, getting some wins under your belt, especially if you're new. Okay. The first couple of coaches, like our coach is going to go Emerald, on um on uh, thursday or i guess wednesday night thursday morning you know i talked to her last week and she had sponsored her husband and was like that makes sense to me 
I need one more to get Emerald. We talked about, you know, I kind of, we kind of walked through this. Kelly had talked to her about this uh, before I did, which is one of the ideas I got to actually do this. And she sponsored two coaches in like less than a week. Why? What? She just got one win and was like, oh, this is easy. I'll just keep going. Now it might take more than one win. Okay. And, and I know she had other conversations where people said no, because that's just how this works. But getting comfortable with sponsoring people and learning how to do that, especially on this level, this is the easiest way to sponsor people, right? It's easy because it's a pretty easy decision for them. It's just simple math. And it's easy for you because there's not a whole lot of heavy lifting. This is somebody who told you, I don't, I'm not really interested in building this business right now. I just want to get healthy and fit. Cool. Sponsor them as a discount coach and treat them like that. Don't try to make them into a business builder unless they raise their hand and say, that's what I want to do. Right? That's easy. That's easy. It's a lot more challenging when somebody signs up as a coach and they go, okay, I want to build a huge business here. I've had a couple of people lately that I've been working with who have some pretty big goals. Those are, those are, those are more challenging people to work with. They're also more exciting for me to work with. But when you're new and you don't really know what you're doing, that's a challenging person to, to sponsor. These people are easy to sponsor. So you uh, get some wins underneath your belt. Okay, I'm gonna look really quickly and see if there's comments and then we'll jump into the other graphic. Doesn't look like it. All right, so let's move on to the other graphic. So we'll do a little quick recap of this one. Again, the first graphic here, preferred membership number one, this is, I'm already buying a challenge pack. Now you're gonna talk to me about becoming a coach with a challenge pack. And here's all the added benefits that you get. The second one, what I did was something very similar, but this is really, if you're thinking about signing up for the all access, or not, I keep calling it all access, I gotta get away from it, annual BOD membership versus, a co versus challenge pack as a coach. Okay, so here the regular member is just somebody who's got on demand. Just a regular old on-demand person. The preferred member is a coach with a challenge pack. Okay, that's what, that's what this sheet is comparing. And again, like it's just up to you guys to have these conversations. As people come to you, they go, I want to get started with this thing. You start having conversations. I was walking a new coach um, through this just yesterday. It's like, look, you, know, you have the conversations about the fitness first because that's probably what attracted them, assuming that's what attracted them to you. Let's have that conversation about fitness first. Then let's talk about nutrition. What are you, what are you going to do with nutrition? You know, and, and this could, this would work for a 2B mindset challenge pack as well. You know, just got to do some math. Okay. So what I have, the math I've got here is BOD, annual BOD for 99 bucks versus the coach challenge pack. Okay. So again, it's kind of a similar layout, similar format, right? You have, you get access to me, you get uh, the private, uh, my private support group. You get a one-year subscription of Beachbody On Demand, and both of you guys get that. And then um, monthly subscription of Shakeology, which you can cancel at any time. Don't get that with the regular membership. And again, with the preferred membership, 25% discount on all of your stuff, super trainer test groups, earn the ability to earn commissions and referrals, all the same benefits as a coach, initial cost. Boom, 99 bucks. We have all the challenge packs that are over 150 or $20 off in November, okay? So for 40 bucks extra, which you're getting a $40 rebate essentially on that coach sign up, sign up fee, you get all this other stuff. To me, that's a pretty easy upsell, okay? And then you've got a coach who's on Shakeology, all right? And again, the monthly fees, you gotta, you gotta factor in this monthly fee. I think this is really important to have, to have an upfront disclose with people. The, the, I've done this before where I just forgot to talk about it. Then they see the monthly charge on their credit card and they're like, what is this crap? And they get pissed and they, you lose trust with people. You need to talk about this just up front. But it's really easy. Look, it, it's okay. Let's just round it to 15 bucks. It's a $15 discount on your Shakeology every month. How long does it take to get back the extra 40 bucks? Not that long, right? Because you're getting this discount. And you're getting Shakeology. Now, obviously, you've also got to talk to them about the monthly subscription on Shakeology. Uh, we've got some sort of fine print about, about that in here, about $2 off shipping, that sort of stuff. But these are kind of the two main circumstances where I find myself talking about these things is, again, in the first circumstance over here, somebody who's already interested in a challenge pack, and let me just present you with the option. They might say no. That's okay. Honestly, the, the practice in doing it 
is worth the is worth the the time and effort in just talking to somebody and getting comfortable with saying, hey, we have this other option if you're interested. And I'm telling you guys, if you'll do this, your business is going to grow. Okay, that's the first one. Challenge pack. You're already interested in a challenge pack. Second one is you're already interested in the $99 all access membership. Now we're going to have a conversation about more, right? Preferred membership, getting on Shakeology, all the other benefits that they would potentially have to becoming a coach. So those are the two docs. Let's see if anybody's got questions. Not seeing any questions. Um, if you do, if you're watching this later uh, or you're watching it through the recording, message me if you have questions, comment below on this post. This is the thing. This is just the thing that can move your business forward. And, and if, you're, if you're feeling kind of stuck and you haven't tried this, I would tell you to try it because it works. And the way we're doing things now, the training we have available to us, I think that was another problem with the discount coach model. We didn't understand it, right? And so we struggled with how do we train those people, right? And as I said earlier, they're really easy to train. If you, if you turn them on to the FCN coach training website, the first thing I do is I talk to them and I'm like, look, identify where you're at on this scale. Number one, you're just here to get a discount. Number two, you're interested in learning uh, a way to maybe get your supplements paid for or earn a little bit of side income. Number three, you're interested in building a business making $500 to $1,000 a month that will change your life in some really positive way. Number four, this is what you want to do. This is, this is a career you're really interested in pursuing. I ask them to identify themselves there. And then I say, look, here's the different, here's the different options for you of, of how far you need to go with this thing in order to accomplish those goals. Number one, super easy, right? Do you know where the shop button is? I mean, it's just pretty easy to train these people. And they, can, they often become and, and have become, uh, you know, not just for us, but for our, a lot of the other coaches on our team. A lot of times, those are the people who hold you at Diamond. They're just discount people. Like you found a couple of business builders, you spend most of your time working with those people and most of your time, you know, babysitting their issues. Meanwhile, you're, you're adding people to the team. And then you have these other people who they just buy Shakeology every month or whatever it is that they buy, which keeps them active and helps you hold rank. The flip side of that is you don't do this. And every person you talk to, you view as a business builder, which I just guarantee you is not the way this thing works. And then you struggle to hold rank. These people can help you hold rank. And if you're new, why would you want to hold rank? You get paid more. It's just really simple. Emerald coaches get paid $14 per cycle. Diamond coaches get paid 18. That $4 doesn't sound like a whole lot, but it adds up. It adds up, especially over time. You know, and anybody who's, you know, been a diamond coach and then fall into Emerald will tell you that that's the truth, <laughs> um, including myself, because I've done that. Um, so I want to really encourage you guys, get, get out there, start talking about coaching. Again, a lot of other things that we can do, and, and I know that those other things are totally effective. I'm not telling you, don't do sneak peeks or don't run campaigns or whatever it is that you're doing still I'm not telling you not to do those things. Okay. Because I know that they are, that they are very effective. However, this is easy. Okay. This is just an extra question for somebody. You're interested in a challenge pack. Let me show you this preferred membership. Here's the graphic. Check it out. And again, take it, make it your own. You're interested in the all access or oh, I keep calling it all access. You're interested in the annual BOD membership. Here's the preferred membership. Check it out. See what you think. If it's a no, it's a no. Guess what you get to do though? In your, in your mind and on a piece of paper, if you if hopefully you track these things, you get to check that one off and say, and especially if you're working with a mentor or you have an accountability partner, you have the ability to go say, well, I asked three people last week to become a coach. I prospected three people last week to become a coach. And I guarantee you, they're going to be like, what, what did you do? Tell me about that. And you can just say, look, I just presented this preferred membership option. It doesn't matter whether they said no or not. That's not my light keeps getting weird. It's like step back and step back. Can see how green and weird that gets? Anyway, light in my office is odd, but that's, that's what you get to do. Those things add up. Okay. They just add up. Those conversations are what make the difference in your business growing or not. How many people did you talk to? It's not about how many people said yes. It's just not about that. It's about how many people you talk to. This just gives you a way to talk to more people about becoming a coach. And pretty soon you're going to find 
your spin on it and your jam. And maybe you don't like the word preferred member. Maybe you come up with something better. Great. Send me a message. Let me know. I'm open to, I'm open to feedback. Okay. But this gives you a way to just talk to more people about becoming a coach. And it also just gives you a way to sponsor people in a very, very easy, low hanging fruit sort of a way, because they, you don't have any expectations of them. You know, they don't have any expectations of themselves. You don't have any expectations of them beyond. They're going to take care of their own health and fitness. You're going to help them do that. They're going to get a discount and which means they're going to stick around longer. Okay. It's just a very easy thing to do, but we got to get back to doing it. Okay. That, that's what I'm really telling you here. So we got to get back to doing it. And then I think, you know, once people do sign up as discount customers or discount coaches, rather preferred members, um, I think it's then just about continuing to build the relationship with them, show them how much you love this thing and get them to fall in love with it and get them to want to be a part of it and to want to be a part of it on a deeper level. And then, you know, they move from, from one to two to three, maybe four. Most people are at three, you know, and that's just the vast majority of every team, honestly, not just our team, but every team. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you're looking for these documents, you're going to find them in the file section after I get the recording processed. Okay. So you got to give me like, I don't know, an hour and a half probably. So I got to send the recording and then I got to upload it and then I got to do all that stuff and I get you guys a link so that everybody can have everything in one little nice tiny spot. Okay. So that's it for today. Let me just double check, see if comments, I'm not seeing any comments. Um, I hope this stuff makes sense to you. Uh, I hope it's helpful. I really do because I, I really do want to get back into more of a recruiting mode. It's just going to help. It's just going to help everybody work less, <laughs> you know, quite honestly, it's just, that's what really happens is, you know, you, you make this business easy by doing the hard thing. It, it's not, it's counterproductive, but it's true in a lot of areas of life. The hard thing here is to ask people to become a coach. It makes your life so much easier. It makes building this business so much easier because you're not doing it alone anymore. You know, when you start to build a team, especially if you build a cohesive team that's got some really strong culture, uh, Michelle Sides and her people are coming to mind where, you know, they all live, most of them live in the same area. They, they do a lot of stuff together. It's a lot easier to be a coach in an, or an environment like that than it is to be a coach who's out there just doing everything on your own. Every, everything you got to do, running a challenge group, it's on you. Uh, you know, team calls, it's on you. Everything's on you. When you build a team, you do it together and it's more fun and it's, it's just less work for more return, which is what I really want for you. That's, that's, that's what I was promised in this business. And that's, what's come true for me. And it's come true because we built a team of people who helped us do it. So I'm grateful for everybody. Uh, and I hope you have a fantastic week. If you haven't voted, please go vote. Uh, this is going to be a historic election, uh, not necessarily because of the outcome, but because of the number of people who vote in a midterm elections. I'm pretty excited to just be a part of that because um, I love history. So anyway, have a great day and uh, we'll look for the recording in a little bit.